WFNN. Headline News Update. Uh, good morning, everyone. 11 o'clock, Tiger Financial News Network Market Update with Basil Chapman. The Dow is up 63 at 34,134. We took out the left side low of August in the Dow with an H to M pattern. This is where you could get a little bit of a bounce, but um, the technicals are still so weak that there should be some kind of uh, retesting. Certainly the 32,914 200-period exponential moving average looks like it's key support that has to hold. The S&P is actually even sharper up. S&P is up. Whoops. S&P right now is up uh, 2022. 20, mm -mm. Also having taken out the left side low of uh, August in the arch formation and it is up 21 at 43.51. The, watching the weekly charts, the weekly charts are still at the end of the day. We're going to be watching them closely today, Friday at 4 o'clock. But so far, they're holding very well. QQQ uh, rolling over. It hasn't taken out the low of 354.71 from August, but it did have an ugly, ugly session. Today it's up yesterday. Uh, yesterday Today it's up 333 at 361. IWM, the Russell 2000. Ooh, it's been terrible, and even today it's up 63 cents at 177.70, but that weekly chart has gone to a sell mode in the IWM. Uh, is that the canary? I don't know if it's the canary. But in the meantime, gold uh, had a nice move up, up eight points at 1947, and that's as the dollar is making new uh, recovery, high, recovery highs, but this is exactly the area where you can expect to see some kind of resistance uh, in the dollar and the uh, crude oil, still acting very, very nicely. It is up 47 cents today at 90.11. Hasn't taken out the left side high, but this is interesting that it's holding so well. And if you look at the TLT, it took out the left side low yesterday. It's having an up session today, up 59 at 91.29. But wow, if it doesn't get going to the upside next week, then this is going to be a big problem. Yields are going to go quite a bit higher. So with that said, I'm going to go to the VIX index and tell you what I would anticipate. The VIX index had a sharp move yesterday, but hit the 200 period moving average, and now it's down uh, $1.36. If today the VIX index actually closes under 16, that's just saying you're going to have to wait for a really good, strong reversal with the VIX going up into the 20s, and then the market makes this major turnaround. We're not there yet, but at the same time, um, the VIX index is something to keep you on next week because it's going to be very important. Have a great uh, weekend. I'll see you later, and um, thank you for great programming. Thank you for being here.